Cirrus Migrate Cloud is a patented solution created to help customers move data between clouds with the least impact on production operations. It is block storage array agnostic, giving customers a single tool for all their block data migration requirements. Cirrus Migrate Cloud enables migration from on-premises, cloud to cloud, or even within tiers in a cloud. This short video will demonstrate Cirrus Migrate Cloud migrating data from a fiber channel array to AWS EBS GP2. The migration will be conducted as the data is in use at the source on-premises fiber channel array. During the migration, Cirrus Data's intelligent QoS will ensure there is no impact to applications in production. Data reduction and encryption are used in flight to reduce the bandwidth and time used for migration, as well as to secure the data in transit. Before we can move data, the AWS Destination Cloud must be ready to receive the data. The first step is to prepare the operating environment to run in the AWS Cloud. There are many choices. You can use any available methods to prepare the VM at AWS, including the latest prepackaged images from AWS Marketplace, or follow AWS best practices to convert existing on-premises boot images. Once the OS is ready, your application needs to be prepared to run in the AWS cloud. You'll need to ensure that the correct version of the application is present with the appropriate licenses and patches, both on the source fiber channel storage and on the AWS storage to execute successfully in the cloud. Cirrus Migrate Cloud then takes care of the most difficult part of migration, which is to move the data disks while they're actively in use up to the very last second prior to cutting over to the AWS Cloud. Here is the Cirrus Migrate Cloud portal. Cirrus Migrate Cloud is a data management as a service app that allows you to migrate and or protect any block storage anywhere. Let's jump into the demo. Here we see the name of the project, the owner, and basic information on the project. The physical host is using a CentOS Linux 7.9 operating system with a 4 gig fiber channel disk as the source. There is another CentOS Linux 7.7 VM on AWS Cloud as the destination. The migration will move the 1 gigabyte fiber channel disk to AWS EBS while the source is running a database application. This terminal shows the 4 gig fiber channel volume on premises with an ext4 file system mounted on slash data. A script is running to append new data to the database that is on slash data on the premises host. The Cirrus Migrate Cloud agent is already installed with the project-specific curl line that can be copied from the Deploy Cirrus Migrate Cloud section here. Now we will connect the two hosts by clicking the H2H connection tab in the Cirrus Migrate Cloud web console. Once connected, either side can send data to the other. We will use the on-premises host agent as the source and the AWS VM host agent as the connection destination. Here, the destination address is the IP address of the VM in the AWS cloud. We'll select the device to be migrated to AWS, which in this case is DM5. Since there's no destination volume yet, we will use the auto allocation for AWS plugin to create the destination volume. Here you see the plugin for Amazon AWS. Select Amazon AWS and enter the required authentication information to allocate the destination EBS GP2 disk type automatically. We will migrate the source 1 gigabyte fiber channel disk DM5 from on-premises to an EBS GP2 disk type on AWS. Now we're going to create the migration session and start the migration. The first step is to select the migration parameters. IQOS is Cirrus Data's intelligent quality of service. It automatically throttles back the migration when the source volume becomes more active and opens it up when the source volume is less active. Now we'll select the appropriate IQOS level for this migration. We can choose from minimum impact to relentless. For this migration, we'll pick aggressive. Here's the dashboard to let you know how the migration is going. So now the newly created destination managed disk is discovered automatically in AWS and is automatically paired with the source fiber channel disk dev DM5. We can observe the parameters of the session, migration progress, and host details. We can see session volumes, source, destination, changes, migration rate, and the remaining data to synchronize. We know an application is running that's appending records to the database. To see the dirty or change blocks during the migration process, we can click on the View Change Data Map icon. 
Observe that the dirty blocks are being tracked and shown here as blue dots as we add database records. This example IQOS graph from an application workload with more substantial production I.O. shows how the migration I.O. is reduced when production I.O. increases. Note that IQOS can be modified on the fly as the migration progresses. Once all the dirty blocks are migrated, the migration is paused until the next synchronization time cycle, which can be scheduled automatically. Using this periodic replication, we can update the destination disk in an ongoing manner. Next, we move to finalize the migration. The first step is to trigger CMotion. CMotion is used to swing the workload over from the original on-premises fiber channel source disk to the new destination VM disk in AWS. For the case of remote migration, where there's a new host VM at the cloud that is pre-configured to run the migrated workload, CMotion effectively eliminates the final synchronization. For the final cutover, CMotion is triggered. In this state, reads and writes from and to the source disk are redirected to the destination. The source fiber channel disk, in fact, becomes quiesced, and the destination disk is updated with all current writes. Once triggered, CMotion syncs the dirty blocks to the destination. Now the source and destination are identical, and the workload is swung over to the destination. We now see that the new device, XVDB on AWS, is actively being written to, while the source fiber channel disk, DM5, is now quiet. Now that we've used CMotion to move the IOs to the AWS EBS disk, the block changes are still being tracked, so at any time we can sync these changes from the AWS EBS disk back to the on-premises fiber channel disk. Let's do that by clicking Trigger Synchronization. Observe that all the track block level changes are now written to the original source fiber channel disk. This demonstrates the ability to migrate just the change blocks back to on-premises fiber channel disk, essentially a backout plan, without migrating the entire volume. Next, we're going to complete the final cutover. To finalize the cutover, we stop the database at the source on-premises Linux host. Unmount slash data to make sure the source volume is properly quiesced and is in a consistent state. Then open Session Actions and select Final Cutover. Note that this step is immediate and there is no final sync because CMotion already ensured that all the updates were redirected to the destination. This allows the AWS Linux host to mount the migrated disk for production use immediately. When cutovers performed automatically using the cutover script, downtime for the database is seconds and not tens of minutes or even days as required by other migration methods when they perform their final sync, a process whose estimated completion time is difficult to estimate. Once the final cutover has completed, mount the destination volume to slash data of the destination AWS Linux VM. Execute ls-l slash data at the destination to confirm that the files, sizes, and attributes are identical to the same command performed on the source on-premises fiber channel host. We can open up a new terminal on the AWS VM and run the database application to show that the number of records and the newest records are exactly the same as the source database prior to shutdown. This concludes the demo. What we have just shown is that you can move block workloads from any cloud block source to Amazon AWS EBS disk while running with no application impact, fully data reduced and encrypted, and with minimal application downtime at final cutover. This patented solution is key for everyone moving to AWS from any on-premises fiber channel disk source.